I've noticed that a lot of the most passionate sort of advocates for this idea that you know the only problems are abroad and we need to spend all of our money on those problems are people with very weird and hollow personal lives. I, I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't wanna be mean, I'm just being honest. Very dishonest, personalized, creepy personal lives, unsettled inside. Like a normal person in this and all countries wants like, I want to have dinner with my wife and play with my dogs and see my kids grow up and have grandchildren. And I want my neighborhood to be safe and I want my friends to be happy. And I want to, you know what I mean? Like those yeah. are the kind of core human concerns for most people. It really takes someone like Lindsey Graham, who doesn't have children, to be like, no, the most important thing is Kharkov or something. <laughs> some city <laughs> in Eastern Europe. But like, honestly, what does that have to do with El Paso or my kids? Nothing. It's a it's a syndrome, kind of. Do you know what I mean? I do know what uh, what you mean. Yeah, I, th- I think I know what he, what he means too. Um, as John Stewart says, Tucker Carlson's a, he just is. Um, I don't like having to speak out in defense of Lindsey Graham. It's a weird position to be put in. But that was one of the most obviously intentionally dishonest, bizarre, propagandistic little arguments that Tucker Carlson has ever made. The idea that if you care about what happens to another country, the civilians of another country who've been invaded, possibly 100,000 or more who have died, you're a creepy little weirdo, aren't you, you little creepy weirdo? You you don't have any kids, do you? Maybe you're a pedophile. What are you doing with your dog if you care about what happens to people in other countries? Now, we know that Tucker Carlson just got back from his creepy little trip to Russia where he Seriously. sat for a couple hours with Vladimir Putin, literally as the guy is planning to finish off his political opposition. And then you went to a grocery store and had a little orgasm while holding a loaf of bread and pretended that all of this is acceptable because you know having a nice subway is more important than having rights or liberties. You now come back. And rather than engaging in what many commenters and we'll get to are saying is maybe a little bit of like self reflection over you and your life. Maybe it's a little bit weird that while you were there, they decided to use that time to kill an opposition figure and didn't think that that would be a problem. Um, instead, Lindsey Graham, let's just keep it real what Tucker Carlson is saying. Lindsey Graham is gay. Lindsey Graham is a gay, weird guy who sits at home worried about Tarkov. Karkov, you care about Karkov, you care about the people who are being murdered by the uh, illegal invasion of the guy that I was just licking the boots of. Lindsey Graham is the weird guy in this case because he doesn't want more Ukrainian civilians to be murdered. I hate Tucker Carlson so much and there are not nearly enough people who rightly hate Tucker Carlson as much as I do. But I pledge to you, I'm gonna do my job of hopefully raising those numbers. Francesca, what do you think? I mean, I hope the paycheck is good for all the water that he is carrying for Russian war crimes and Putin specifically. Um, It's so disgusting what he's inferring. And yet by the logic of what he's saying, why don't right wingers mind their own damn business and do the so called normal thing and just play with their dogs and their children who probably hate them, just do that. Do what you want to stop worrying about the border, which isn't being invaded. Stop worrying about uh, sending more weapons to Israel as it engages in genocide and stop worrying about carrying water for Vladimir Putin. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, yeah, you just a normal thing. No, then by your logic, all of y'all are incredibly abnormal and you actually don't want just the normal things of being at home with your family and your dog. But you're absolutely right. It is weird homophobic and anti-Ukraine um, talking points wrapped into one. And yeah. um, I don't know if Glenn Beck really understands what he's saying. He's like, I think so. What? I don't. I. Yeah, and by the way, I have no idea if Lindsey Graham is gay. Now, that's not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that's what he is saying. Yes, that's what he is obviously saying. And you are 100 percent right. The idea that of all the th- like you can say having a particular policy obsession makes you a weirdo, but you have to provide the evidence. The idea that caring, like you're gonna say, normal people just care about their family, their friends, you know, people, and don't care if civilians die abroad. What the hell are you talking about? I I care about people the people near me and also the people who were not by virtue of birth 
close to me. I care about those people too, because I'm not an utter monster who only cares about people who are nearby and look like me and sound like me and worship like me and, and hook up like me. I care about other people too. I consider that to be the normal thing. The idea that you would only care about people who share demographic variables with you and to hell with everyone else, I consider that to be the weird, creepy thing. And I'll add on to what you said. You know, if you want to talk about people who could just spend time with their family and their dogs, but instead are getting up to things that make them creepy and weird, the fact that you guys care so much about the sex that other people have, mm -hmm. that you care so much about what they do with their own bodies. We're talking about people's lives being lost in Ukraine. You guys are focused on stuff that has nothing to do with you, your family, your community, your state, nothing happening within a thousand miles of you. But you are deeply invested in it. What does that say about your personal life? 